Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you some projects with the new uh, Christmas Village die set. Here is the die set. You will see that there is uh, five different little houses or buildings in it. There's one, uh, this one could be a church and just some tiny little details that I will show you later. I'm using a spa binders uh, to the embossing folder for um, for my slimline card. This is normal slimline size, eight and a half by three and a half inches. I mean, that is normal size for me, but I don't actually know if that's the normal slimline size. So my first idea was to create a white village, kind of you know to 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 represent snow in a way and for my background i chose a light gray cardstock i think this is fog from spabinders so i die cut all my houses from heavyweight um, nina solar white cardstock and i die cut all of them twice and then i um glued them together so that they are sturdy because I knew that I wanted to um, add foam tape to the back uh, which I did and then I just arranged my uh, houses in whatever uh, way I liked them and by the way as you can see this five is perfect for the slimline size I actually sized them that way <laughs> and um, there's this little wreath um, obviously the ratio is, com is completely off but I just wanted to I mean I cannot create a smaller die <laughs> than that it would be ridiculous I think so I wanted some Christmassy elements so that's why I have that and then I have some light strands again totally off ratio with the houses but you know just use your imagination <laughs> I wanted some color and um, I have two different ones uh, one just has three the other one has four little uh, kind of well they are light bulbs okay but um, they are round I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm sure you've seen it around. There, there are these light strands with the little balls. Um, I bought some for my kids' room last year. And you could customize the colors. It was really, really perfect because then I could choose the colors of his room. And that's where the idea came from. And by the way, my friend Martina has these in rainbow colors. <laughs> I had to get them for her because I don't know they reminded me of her um so that's where the idea came from then uh, for my second card I am creating a white background but you know I, I don't it's not that I don't like white background but I, I just need at least texture uh, on my card if it's one color so I'm adding some simple stripes with my uh, bone folder and then I'm adding this panel to the card base and I wanted to show a different uh, sample um, that is not Christmas themed so I die cut my houses from different colors and again two layers just like before and foam tape um, exactly the same as before the only thing I'm gonna do differently here is that I die cut these um, clocks and as you can see I die cut two because I did not know which color I will like both of them are purple one has uh, the outside um, light purple the other um, the dark one. Now this one is an older die set called For You and this one is something Christmassy. Both are the same font, same size, just one of them is Christmas theme, the other one is um, an everyday set and I'm um, creating my sentiments. I actually 
wouldn't mind having something like welcome to the neighborhood or something like that but I don't have that so I just wrote uh, congrats like on a new house or something like that and um, I'm always doing the sentiments the same way I die cut two of the bottom layers um, and layer them up and then one of the top layers all of them from white cardstock and then I also die cut a color layer and I will add that on top just the letters so that it's dimensional now these ones I already had uh, from last year I think I had a bunch of sentiments left that I created for the photos and um, this one had red foil um, cardstock or satin finish or something like that from uh, Tonic Studios um, and then that's it simple cards and two different themes so to say I hope you like it I hope I could give you some ideas thank you very much for watching and check out the other videos on the channel today as well thank you bye bye